You just released your report for the second quarter, where the focus, of course, is a lot about the future. But if we start with the numbers, so did the revenue decrease with 9%? Can you please comment about that? Yeah. Uh, research instrument, uh, the business unit, was increasing with over 20% in quarter two. And that was a really nice uh, result. And it was the result of a hard work from many people. Uh, applied solution uh, decreased and it's mainly because of the really big wave of mass market uh, RFQs that are coming right now that is filling up the bandwidth of that uh, business unit, uh, so, so that's why. In this report, do you for the first time tell us about the value of the 18 design wins? It's over 475 million sec. Can you please tell us something more about that? Yeah, that was uh, great to be able to talk about that actually. And we have uh, steadily uh, for some time been, been building up the, the uh, knowledge base and the, the information base ab about uh, how, to, how to value these uh, orders. And uh, now for the first time we feel that we are confident to make such a, uh, produce such a number. And what we do is that we look, uh, we get uh, numbers and information from the car manufacturers about the volume of their cars and their take rates. Uh, and also the, the, we calculate uh, over a whole product life cycle and that's how we come up with that number. And we always strive for maximum transparency and uh, we will continue to try to improve the information to the market continuously. You also say that if these systems will be installed in other cars on the same platform with these car manufacturers, it may result in orders worth 2 billion sec. What is the probability that, may, that it may happen? Yeah, that's a probability that's quite good actually because the barriers of entry for, for other uh, competitors, so to say, is, is quite high. Uh, it's difficult for a car manufacturer to change a supplier in the middle of a program. So the, the risk of being replaced is not big and at the same time it's, uh, it's about how, how will the market grow and how does, do the OEMs want to uh, increase the, the, uh, this technology in their car models. And that actually looks very, very good. Uh, and um, we see, uh, have, have a lot of uh, good information about that coming in. All the time, so so we are, uh, we cannot of course guarantee anything until the orders are there. We have the contracts in place, but we are fairly optimistic. You also mentioned that there is 10 billion sec worth of potential business being awarded this year and the next. What is the probability that this will happen? That probability looks good. So we have many of the of the RFQs. They are already released, and we are working in the, these procurement processes. Uh, for some of the RFQs that are yet to come, we are still in contact with the OEMs, we exchange information, so we know that they are coming. Uh, and this is uh, really a big change compared to before. I mean, these are the biggest car manufacturers in the world, and they are broadly putting this new technology into their cars. So it's great news. In the case where you have won design wins, have there been multiple suppliers that have won design wins on the same product or how does it work? Yeah, that has happened one time, but that's uh, right now an exception and not the rule. Uh, for the premium OEMs that we have been working mostly with up until now, uh, and also this technology is in, in an early stage, uh, this, this means that there have been mostly just one supplier. If you go to the mass market OEMs that are now starting to get rolling. Uh, they uh, usually have at least dual sourcing when it comes to uh, high volume products. So that is what is to be expected in the future as the market matures and as it shifts from premium to mass market. I suspect that these numbers have been available for a long time. Why didn't you publish them earlier? Yeah, we Wanted, uh, we wanted to build up the, the knowledge base. We wanted to be sure about how to communicate the numbers. 
also we have been receiving information continuously so we have built up a, a, a better and better case to be able to publish it and now we choose to do it in conjunction with a quarterly report in order to, to uh, give the information to the whole market at the same time really. And finally looking forward what can we expect in the near future? Uh, these uh, mass market RFQs that are uh, ongoing and soon will start, they should ye start yielding results within 6 to 12 months. Uh, some of them will even be uh, awarded this year probably. Uh, so that is to be expected and of course we cannot give a forecast that we are going to win X or Y percent of these uh, RFQs but I think we are in really good shape. I mean we have an open non-exclusive business model that is uh, uh, that gives us access to a large part of the market. We also have uh, an open hardware uh, philosophy where we can work on multiple types of hardware and we also have a, a proven and well-tested and validated technology stack. So uh, we're in good shape. Martin, thank you very much. Thank you.